I'm Dr. Julie Fisher. I'm a medical oncologist here at the Levine Cancer Institute. Sometimes oncologists will order a thoracentesis or paracentesis to uh, test fluid that sometimes accumulates in places it shouldn't be as a result of cancer. When that happens, we will remove the fluid, sometimes so that we can do additional testing, sometimes to relieve any symptoms that the fluid might be causing. I'm Robin Stacy Humphreys, and I'm a body imager and mammographer with Charlotte Radiology, and I've been asked to discuss the procedures called paracentesis and thoracentesis. A paracentesis and a thoracentesis are procedures that we do throughout all of our hospital sites at Charlotte Radiology. In this procedure, we actually use a small tube to take some fluid either out of the chest or the abdomen. We do paracentesis and thoracentesis most of the time to relieve pain or pressure that the fluid can cause. Sometimes when you have increased fluid in your chest, it may cause you to be short of breath. And then if it's in your abdomen, you could be somewhat anorexic or feel bloated. And so when we take the fluid off, it actually relieves the symptoms and also we test the fluid for infection and in some cases test the fluid for tumor cells. A paracentesis and a thoracentesis are very common procedures. So if your doctor orders one of these procedures, they are going to be performed either by a radiologist or our radiology physician assistants. When you schedule the exam, let the scheduler know if you're on any blood thinners such as cumin or flavix. Prior to the examination, we ask that you arrive approximately 30 minutes early. That will give you plenty of time to fill out paperwork and don't forget your insurance card. Prior to the procedure, a physician or a physician assistant will be there to answer any of your questions. If your doctor orders a paracentesis or a thoracentesis, we ask you not eat for four hours prior to the exam. And also, it's really important for you to bring a list of your medications and let us know if you have any allergies. Prior to the procedure, we'll clean off your skin with some soap, and then we use some local numbing medicine called lidocaine, and that actually numbs the skin. Most people are familiar with lidocaine if you've ever had any dental work, because lidocaine is used to inject the gums before they do any fillings, and lidocaine actually stings when it goes in, but after that, it should become numb. And once your skin is numb, then we'll insert the small tube into the skin to drain the fluid out. The tube is small, it's smaller than an IV, and most patients don't even realize the tube's been inserted. Thank you for choosing Charlotte Radiology and Levine Cancer Institute for your care. Mm -hmm.